Uh, Mr. Etta, what do you make of this whole uh, saga? Because it's been spoken about at length all over the society, and there's a lot of confusion going on on other TV stations and the social media. Now, you're a very high up in your party. You're a former uh, acting national uh, chairman of your party. What do you make of the saga that we have on our hands, where the president, way after the election has been sworn in, continues his work, uh, is now being harried, if you want, by all of this? Well, uh, first of all, thank you for having me in Lagos here. Yeah? Um, much as I would have loved to uh, entertain the kind of concerns that my younger brother, my younger friend, uh, uh, is entertaining, uh, uh, which presupposes that they do not understand English, um, I do not think that it is so. You, you and I know that it has been from one saga to another, all in a bid to stop President Bola Tinibu from being president. At first, it was to stop him from being president. It even went, he has now become even president. Back to stopping him from even registering as a candidate of your party. Of remember? the party. So for you to now say it is about the CSU is um, not imaginative at all. Uh, let me start by saying that for me, it has, I, I, I understand it from two perspectives. The first one is external, and the second one is internal. The first one is that the most anticipated African Renaissance has commenced, indeed. Um, if you look throughout the continent of Africa, you will see a resurgence of African nationalism. So to speak, if I can, if I can use um, that word, um, superintended over by the likes of the president of Ghana, Kudo, uh, 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 the, the president of Kenya, Ruto, uh, Kagame of, uh, of Rwanda, and politicians like um, Julius Malema of South Africa. Now, this is an event that the Western Hemisphere would never want Africa to have. And now, even that we have all of these very distinguished Africans leading the pack, the most feared is if Nigeria mm -hmm. was to take the lead. Mm -hmm. And given the antecedents of the president of Nigeria for today, it is doubly troubling for those who would not want Africa to develop, for Africa to take its place. Now, because this will downscale the living standards in the Western Hemisphere, do not be fooled. This because they will not now have the cheap resources and the raw materials that they have from Africa. They are now going around Africa, the African continent, looking for greedy, unpatriotic, troublesome politicians to use to destabilize Africa. And if they can have it, stop Africans who they have, have it in them to unlock the potentials of Africa from sitting in power over these African nations. Now, for me, that is the first perspective. Okay. One of being used. Yes. Uh, as it were. Yes. Even though they themselves might say uh, that that's a, that's a low blow. Yes. It is, it is indeed in the interest of the West that this yes. African renaissance be okay. diminished and extinguished at this point. All right. Okay. And the ascension to the presidency of Nigeria, mm -hmm. of the like of President Bola Metinibu, is quite troubling to them. And so... It is not for me surprising that what is happening in Nigeria today is happening. Okay. Now, the number two one, when it concerns directly, when it concerns uh, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar directly, mm -hmm. is pure, unadulterated hatred. Now, remember that in 1999, Vice President Atiku was elected governor of Adamawa State just like the president of the country today was elected president uh, governor of Lagos State. Now, with other progressives in the Southwest, 
The present, the present president has led the charge for the development of the Southwest that has made the Southwest perhaps the fastest growing economic area of Africa today. Mm -hmm. Whereas vice, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, who had become the Vice President, with other individuals in the Northeast, have led the Northeast to becoming perhaps the most poverty-stricken developmental challenged area of Nigeria, and Adamawa in particular, a desolate land. And so for a man who has bested him in all areas, particular, all areas of concern, all areas of human endeavor, of course, you can, ha you can only have bile and hatred. Because the Sedic Nigerians had thought that when he returns from his unproductive and illiterate expedition in, Amer in, in America, that he would come and apologize to the president of Nigeria and apologize to the Nigerian people. What did he do? He convened an international conference, conference where he only alluded to the fact that the certificate that was given to the president was forced after he earned it. Now, what is forgery? Forgery is supplying information or document with an intent to defraud. Now, how can somebody present his own certificate? What he earned? Forge that. Again. And forge that. How can he forge when, what he earned? Well, no material... Uh, uh, benefit. Uh, uh, what was the benefit? And no material detail was even changed. Nothing now, was even changed. Now, my brother. I don't know what you think about what we. Are, sorry, sir. I don't know what you think about what we have heard. That um, well, the attitude of uh, the Americans to these diplomas that Nigerians and perhaps other Africans take so very seriously is it, not the same to them. They say they even farm that out. That what is sacrosanct is the transcript, but as anybody else so designated could produce a copy um, uh, when you request it. Uh, and so the people that were, depo uh, that were speaking for uh, CSU said that they really have no knowledge of that, that in fact they don't have those things. These are not, this is not if, our practice. If you read, if you th read through the deposition of Mr. Carl Walsbeck, you'll find that um, even though he said the document that was presented to INEC um, is not what he knows. Of course, he also said that you can legally obtain a diploma through a third party vendor. Now, has Atiku investigated the certificate to know that it was not from a third party vendor? Because it, 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 it defies all, all, uh, all human understanding that one would go to the length of forging what he has. Now, you see, the, the, the truth must be told. It is important that Atiku does not take a moral high ground. Because it is this Atiku that we know. Well, well, yes, indeed. Yeah. Uh,